All right, champions, I'm going to give you some recreational, intermediate, just under advanced tips on, on how to hit the ball down the line. The reason why is because most of you guys want to get the basics. You want to just find out how do I hit the ball down the line without going too deep in it. And sometimes the basic simple steps really make the biggest difference. Okay, guys, let me give you about three to four tips on how to hit the ball down the line. Also, some of the mistakes you're making, okay? A lot of players, what they do is, when, they, when they're railing with, with their opponent cross court, they can get away with the chest being a little bit open because it's natural when the chest is open, it's easy to go uh, cross court. But when they go down the line, they still have the open body and now all of a sudden it's hard to go down the line when your chest is open. So if my chest is open and I'm trying to go down the line, it's so hard. I can only get it down the line if my timing is perfect. Timing is off, I'll never get it. So please make sure when you're going down the line, turn the body, get your chest to side fence because now it's natural for me to hit the ball down the line. Very natural to get that ball down the line when I'm side onto the ball. Very important tip. Second tip and mistake you're making, and I'm sure Roger Federer will agree with this one. You're probably lifting up your head, opening your head. What happens when I lift up my head? The left, left shoulder opens up, and then the racket has to also work with the body. Remember the whole body is a kinetic chain, it works together. My head goes, shoulder goes, racket goes. Can't hit the ball down the line. Keep your head over the ball, keep your head still, whatever you want to tell yourself to keep your head balanced as you hit. So I'm keeping my head still. Imagine Roger Federer as he hits his forehand. It's just a racket doing the work. Boom, head still. Very, very important tip, guys. Now, I want to give you one more tip. If you are an advanced player, you can hit your you can hit your forehand down the line with open stance. Definitely Nadal does it all the time, Djokovic, uh, Federer does it all the time. But you see, you can get it. But what I would recommend is, if you're really struggling with it down the line, find a way to get to the ball early enough so that you can step in closed. Why? Because when I step in with my uh, uh, left leg, check what happens. Immediately it also helps with the first step, which was stay sideways. So now I'm stepping in, it makes it easier for me to stay sideways. And all I have to do now is keep my, keep my head still. So in the beginning, go close stance. Step in, step in, down the line will be easier. Very, very important, guys. Last little tip. Uh, some of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm a big fan of this. When you hit the ball down the line, pretend like you're hitting seven balls. Why? Because you need to swing, if you want the ball to go straight forward, you need to swing forward, okay? If the camera can just come next to me quickly. So instead of just doing all those steps, but hitting quickly through the ball like this, imagine con contacting the ball, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then release. So it's a long follow through forward. Get your palm and the strings to go to your target, forward. Don't release too soon. Carry the ball down the line. I'll give you guys two from another angle. So I'm trying to hit seven balls instead of one through the air. Seven balls. Close stance, seven balls. Close stance, seven balls. Those steps, guys, will help you immediately with your down the line forehand or backhand. They work together. Please let me know in the comments if that was useful. Also let me know next videos what are you struggling with? I really like to help you guys. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a beat on this channel. Thanks, guys.